Hey guys, Ray from Love you RV here again, and today I'm going to go through the electrical de testing devices I have on board that I use to monitor the RV's uh, electrical systems. So here we have three test devices in front of me. First is my multimeter, and I use this to test AC and DC voltages, and as well as measuring uh, continuity and resistance in ohms. So that's the, good, the basically an all-around device I use for almost everything. Very handy for troubleshooting any type of uh, problems I have with any of the appliances or uh, electrical circuits. Um, the one I have is quite a, a high-end unit called a Fluke. Um, one of the kind of stand, industry standards out there. I had that for my TV and stereo repair days. This one I've had for probably 20 years. Works as good as the day I bought it. <coughs> Another device I use is a non-contact voltage tester. So this thing, uh, let me turn it on here. When it's like that, as soon as it gets near any um, alternating current AC voltage, it'll uh, beep off. So let's just put it in one of the plugs here. You can see when I put it into the hot outlet there, it fires off. So that's a very handy device, and I'll show you more about that later. And the third device here is something I just picked up off Amazon before we left on our trip. And it's a clamp meter. So it can measure AC and DC current just by clamping around a wire, which is extremely handy. I really wanted to pick it up to, to measure some of my DC battery wiring voltages and what's coming off solar panels and that. Like I can do it with the multimeter you can put the multimeter into uh, current mode, change the leads around here, but you have to open up the circuit to, to put the leads in line with the wire, whereas the clamp, you can just clamp around a wire, so it's a lot quicker. Also, this is capable of uh, going up to 100 amps, whereas my meter was only capable of 10 amps, so I think this is going to be a good addition. I got it off Amazon, and I got this thing was only 40 bucks. <laughs> Not the best unit out there, of course, kind of a cheap unit called a Uni-T, but actually also is a full uh, multimeter as well. There's AC and DC, has continuity, the whole, the whole works. Such a tiny little package. I'm just blown away now what they what they can put into a package and how cheap they can sell it. Versus when I started out, my first multimeter was a giant box thing. <laughs> Even had tubes in it. So, I have two other monitoring devices in the RV. Maybe I'll give you a look at those. Um, yeah, first is a, a surge protector, and I also have a battery monitor. So, let me, uh, let me show you those. So, I have my surge protector hardwired into the, the rig. Let's go in here and give you a look at it there. So, you can see there's kind of a big uh, relay there. The power comes in, the black wire comes in, is the power cable coming in, goes through that black square thing that's a relay and out that orange wire, and that goes to the main power dis distribution panel in the RV for the, the AC. So what this thing does is before the relay closes, it uh, takes a look at the, the incoming power's voltage, and it'll only uh, close the relay if it's good. Um, it senses uh, any miswiring in the in the campground power pedestal. If the voltage is too high or too low, it would automatically shut it down to protect the RV circuitry. So it's a really good device to have on board. Or they also have uh, um, portable ones that you can put on the pedestal. Uh, the one I have is called a Progressive Industries. I've showed it before. I'll link to the, the video of my installation. Um, it's it's a really good one. It's made in the, the USA. has a lifetime warranty. Pretty good little company. But the reason I, I liked this one, the hardwired one, is it came with a little remote uh, digital readout here. So at a glance I can see what what's going on with my uh, rig's power. You can see it's 119 volts, 22 amps I'm drawing right now at 60 uh, cycles per second. So I really, I really like having that. It's handy to see if I'm drawing too much, too much energy. Maybe I'm going to blow a breaker. 
um, or if something's wrong with the campground voltage like 118 is really good I've been in campgrounds where they're not wired to handle the capacity and it slowly drifts down into the, you know the 110 range or 108 range if it gets too low it'll automatically turn it off so that so that it doesn't hurt any of the RV circuitry so it's like in a brownout or something like that so let me show you the next thing is my uh, DC monitor that monitors my batteries here's my trimetric battery battery monitor and uh, so you can see here this tells me some key information about the battery bank I've got exactly what voltage is at now and it's at 13.5 it's actually charging after we've been off grid for a little while we just came to an RV park and hooked up um, it's just showing the amps in and and showing me percentage full this thing calculates calculates um, by the voltage and, and current um, over time how how many how many percentage is left in the in the battery bank so I'm at 93 percent right now which is really handy because you don't want to let your batteries run below 50 percent before you need to recharge them otherwise you'll reduce your battery life and you could damage your batteries so it's good to have one of these more sophisticated monitors this is the trimetric one another brand that I hear is really good is called Victron but anything's better than those those dummy lights they give you um, in the RVs where it just says you know fair good and charging they're they're pretty inaccurate so it's good to have a, a good battery monitor it really helps with uh, keeping your batteries happy so your multimeter is going to come in handy for all sorts of things around the RV to test. Let's just put her in AC mode there. Say I wanted to test a uh, an outlet. Let's plug the leads into an outlet. You can see it's measuring 113 volts there. Um, I can also test batteries quickly. Put it into DC mode, and I'll just test this 9 volt battery. You've got 8.84 volts, so we know that's a little bit low. Um, in ohms mode, I can test bulbs and fuses for continuity. That's showing me one ohm there. Also, this one has sort of a beeper mode here, so I don't even have to look at it to know I've got good continuity just by putting the leads across a wire or a bulb or a fuse. In this case, it's a standard RV uh, lamp there. Also three things on the RV that the the ohms uh, resistance mode is really good for checking is uh, elements. So I've used it to troubleshoot my a burnt out fridge element where the element should measure a certain amount of ohms. Um, I put my leads across it in ohms mode and it showed OL or open circuit. Um, so I knew right away the, that element was bad. Um, also on the water heater element is another element I've used to, the ohms mode on my multimeter to check and, and troubleshoot a, a bad uh, water heater element. And also in the fridge there's what they call a thermistor um, that's used in a lot of the Dometic fridges for, uh, for uh, adjusting the temperature. I don't know if you've ever seen it slides up, for, up and down to, to adjust hot or cold on the on the fridge temperature well that little ther thermistor should measure certain I think five to ten thousand ohms or something so it's uh, the ohm meter is a way to check that so you don't have to get that advanced it's good for you know just routine things but it also can help you in saving some money by troubleshooting burnt out elements and stuff in your appliances and you can get a decent uh, multimeter nowadays for around fifty dollars. Like these flukes are two, three hundred dollars, but you can get quite a quite a good uh, multimeter for around fifty dollars. Um, important things to look for in one that I really like is auto ranging, which means say I'm in DC mode here, I just have to switch it to DC mode, and then whatever voltage I put it on, say it's two volts or a hundred volts, it'll automatically range to that for me. Some of the cheaper ones they that you have to move the dial to like 2 volts, 20 volts, 200 volts to to uh, measure it. So that's a nice little feature to have. And also that uh, 
that beep feature for continuity is nice too, so you don't have to, to look at it. And also look for one with a, a decent set of test leads on it. Usually you want ones that are nice and uh, flexible. So let me uh, quickly show you how I test the campground pedestal with this uh, non-contact voltage test tester. So I turn it on and you can see we've got the regular 120 outlet, the 30 amp I'm plugged into and this is a 50 amp. So what this thing will do is it'll go off when, when it's uh, found a hot wire. So on the say for the 50 amp here, these outside uh, legs should be hot. You can see it beep when I put it in there. But as far as the neutral and the ground, it shouldn't go off. If it does, then you know it's miswired. Just like that. Similar over here with the, the um, regular 120. And the neutral there, nothing. Hot goes off. Hot goes off. And nothing on the ground there. Also, you'd want to just, if, if this was miswired and something had happened and this was energized, like the ground was energized, it would go off as well. So, it's a really quick way to do it. I could do it with my multimeter as well, but it's just much easier. I don't have to touch anything, I don't have to pull out the, the wires, just quickly insert it there. Um, you also can check breakers with it, see if they're alive. And also I'll take this and I'll go around and just touch the, the metal chassis of the RV, just make sure it's not hot. So I'll give you a quick look at this uh, little clamp-on amp meter in action. Uh, I'm just charging my battery right now with my generator. So we'll go to my converter here, battery charger. Let's clamp it on the positive input line and you can see 21 amps coming in. Now I can quickly go and check my solar, it's my solar line here. And we got, it's cloudy right now, but we're getting about 6.4 amps coming in on that. Um, I can check the amperage that my RV circuits are drawing. Got uh, 2.4 amps. And go quickly check my uh, inverter here, see what it's drawing. Uh, seven, it's around six or seven amps. And come here to my main battery cable, and you can see I'm feeding charge volt, charge amperage of about 22, 23, going up. Hands in there on the computer, so it's fluctuating right now. Let's turn on my IntelliPower's uh, boost mode here. Let's see if we can get a little more charge amperage. Yeah, you can see we're right up there 43. So you can see that's a pretty handy device for quickly checking uh, what's going on with your, your DC circuits as far as the amperage goes. Well there you go, five different uh, devices I use to keep the RV's electrical systems running smooth. Um, I can highly recommend of course the fluke meter uh, this little Klein tool works really well, the non-contact tester. Um, of course, my trimetric monitor for the batteries, I highly recommend that one, and my Progressive Industries uh, surge protector. As far as this thing goes, I'll revert, revert, reserve judgment for a while. I sort of kind of bought it as kind of a lark because it was 40 bucks. I couldn't believe that for 40 bucks you could get a clamp on um, current checker that does AC and DC current <laughs> and also has a multimeter. It even has a, a non-contact tester built into the, the end piece here. So it's a pretty amazing little little gadget, but you know, I didn't pay much for it, so I don't have a lot of a lot of hope for it. So anyway, if I'll use it for a while and come back later when I do a an update of all my uh, equipment reviews. So until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks for watching everyone. Just sitting here uh, waiting for the rain to stop so we can go out and uh, check out the, the Oregon, be Oregon beaches. Get that beagle out for a walk. Cheers everyone.